Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future videos. So before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys that uh, Guitar Center has a bunch of stuff on sale this weekend because it is the holiday weekend. Um, they have uh, picks like these. I think it's like a 12 or 13 pack uh, for four bucks. They're usually like six or seven bucks. And then strings here, I bought some too. Um, they have uh, three packs, or you buy three packs of strings for ten bucks, as opposed to like five forty nine or something a piece. Um, but uh, yeah, Guitar Center has stuff on sale. Go take a look uh, if you want to save a couple bucks. So today we're going to be talking about oh yeah, good old good old Gibson again, good old Gibson Sunday, uh, because they just lost the lawsuit in Europe for the flying V shape. Um, they, basically, the gist of the breakdown was, yes, it was futuristic uh, back in the 50s, but today it is very common. A lot of people use the shape, and as we pretty much have seen with Fender before, uh, you can trademark a headstock shape, but you can't really trademark a body shape. Um, because, I mean, obviously there's going to be slight differences. It might look similar, but there's going to be different electronics, different woods, etc., different manufacturing process, all of that. So Gibson is already on the losing side of things. And they, they're they basically just, they're going to keep losing because they're suing all of these companies and because it's not exactly to a T. Like Dean, for instance, the headstock. Um, yes, it is an open book headstock technically, but it's not exactly a Gibson. Um, they should be going after companies that actually copy them, you know, like the Chinese factories, etc. Um, instead of Dean, you know, ESP, they're going to go after all these companies. Agile is probably going to get hurt. Uh, Harley Benton has a kind of open book headstock. Uh, they might be going after them too. Um, but we will just have to wait and see. So this is basically just a quick update video uh, letting you guys know what is going on with Gibson. Also, if you do not want to deal with Gibson and or give money to Gibson right now, don't buy a new one. Just go to your local music shop, buy a used one, go to your Craigslist, go to Facebook Marketplace, let go, offer up eBay, Reverb, Guitar Center, any of those places and buy a used one. Because at that point, Guitar Center isn't making any money off of it. And neither is Gibson as well. Thank you for watching. My name is Steve Gray. And as always, have a good one.